components required for this project are breadboard ultrasonic sensor i2c 128 cross 64 oled display some connecting wires which are male to male and a cable i think i am forgetting something what is that that is arduino nano we are using arduino nano for this particular project you can also use arduino uno or arduino mega it's up to your wish now let's see how to make the circuit and what exactly the project we are making stay tuned till the end of the video let's do some abracadabra magic So you have to connect SCL to A5 that is analog pin number 5 and SDA to analog pin number 4. GND to GND, VCC to 5V. So these are the connections of OLED display and now ultrasonic sensor trig and echo trig is connected to pin number 10 that is digital pin 10 and echo is connected to pin number 11 So guys you can see that the connections are completed now it's time to download the libraries which are required for this OLED display after downloading it we'll be writing the code till now we are using a Arduino Nano cable for uploading the code and other part of the cable you can insert it in the laptop. Two important libraries are required for using the OLED display and the name of that library are Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD 1306. So let's see how we can download this library. So you have to go to sketch, include library and manage libraries. It's updating the list. It will take little bit of time. Okay, it's done. Now here you have to write Adaf root SSD thirteen zero six. Okay. So this is the library Adafruit SSD 1306. It is already installed for me. You can do one thing. You can select the version, whatever the version you want to select. After that, you have to click on install. That's it. In the same way, you can select the, another library Adafruit GFX. GFX stands for graphics. So Here, the second one, Adafruit GFX library. This one is also installed for me. You can just select the version and you can install. So after installing these two libraries, now what you have to do, this is the code. The code and the circuit diagram is already given in the description. You can check the description and you can just download the code and circuit diagrams from there. No need to worries about it. 
So this is the overall code here. We are using the libraries here. It is we are defining that the width and the height of the display. And after that, we are telling that for trick pin, we are using digital pin number 10 and for echo, we are using pin number 11. And this is the little bit of code. Now, the main thing is there in the void loop. The ultrasonic sensor code and OLED display code for showing the distance value on it. So that's it. After that, what you have to do, you have to select the tools. In the tools, you can select Arduino Nano because we are using Nano. If you are using Arduino Uno or Mega, based on that, you can select the board. Uh, yeah, board is selected. Arduino Nano COM10. That's it. Now, if you want to verify it's your wish, I'll just click on upload. And that's it, the code is uploaded. Now let's see how the project is working. We'll be doing some testing and based on that, we'll see that how this particular project is working. Let's move on towards the testing part. The code is uploaded, now it's time to do the testing. So here you can see that I do have a diary in my hand. And as the diary is coming closer to the sensor, you can see that the distance is changing in OLED display 6 cm, 5 cm, 4, 4, 4, 3, 5, 6, 7. So as I'm going far from the sensor, the distance is increasing as the diary is getting closer and closer to the sensor the distance is reducing so here we are using the OLED display to show the distance value we are not using the serial monitor I thought that we can do something different we can show the sensors value on OLED display it will be much more better Okay, okay, I do have another idea. Let's do the testing with a pen. I am keeping a pen in front of sensor and let's see. Mm, okay, 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 it's working, it's working. 9 centimeters, 8 centimeter, 7, 6. Okay. So it was working with the pen, not exactly I can say accurately, but it was working pretty well. When the pen is coming very closer to the sensor, it is showing minus 33 centimeters. So you guys can tell me in the comment section that why here minus 33 centimeter it is showing. And thanks for watching the video till the end.